You had this very successful uh, pro racing career, and then you suffered this terrible accident. What exactly happened? Big jumps, berms, really fast, loud. Um, yeah, just trying to make up some time and got, got crossed up and got pitched off the machine. Landed with all my weight on my left leg and my knee hyperextended 180 degrees, actually the point where I kicked myself in the chin. Oh. It, went, it, the, it went the wrong way. Oh my God, that's just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, was, so did you think at that moment, I mean, you, obviously it must be a horrifying pain. Were, there, were your thoughts, okay, this, they, can, they can fix this? Yeah, I mean, with, with my line of work, racing snowmobiles and dirt bikes, um, injuries are, are you know, fairly common. Right. And uh, they've always been able to, to bolt me back together one way or another. Mm -hmm. And um, so this time I knew it was bad, a uh, compound fracture. And um, took me off to the hospital. And over the course of three days, really ran into some complications with nerve damage and, and, uh, and circulation and ended up uh, getting really sick, kidneys shutting down. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so basically I was at the point where the only way to save my life was to amputate my leg. Oh my God, okay. And uh, yeah. yeah, to take that as a professional athlete, um, that, that was a pretty hard hit. I, I can imagine. I mean, anybody in any circumstance, no matter what they do, going through that would be horrifying you, a lot of people would at that point say, okay, my career in sports is over, not you. You decided I'm going to go about, and they probably told you, here are your options for prosthetic leg. You weren't satisfied with what they had. Yeah, I, I, it, was, it was really quick turnaround. Um, once once uh, the amputation happened, I was in the hospital for 13 days, and then five and a half weeks later, I got on my first prosthesis, which was uh, really quick compared to most. And yeah, it was crazy. I, I watched TV and saw some, some special equipment, and so I was somewhat familiar with it, but I got the first leg, and it was, uh, it was a basic mechanical hinge. Mm -hmm. And you got to swing it out in front of you, put your weight on it, and then you step again, and it kind of swings under you. But the problem is, is when, when I kick a little pebble in front of me or the curb and go to put my weight on it, and it's not there, and I just, you know, I just... Right. So Smash just right in my face. Obviously not <laughs> satisfied with what was out there. No, not going to work for uh, jumping the dirt bike or right. snowmobile at all. So um, you decided, which is, this is the part that I find uh, incredibly fascinating, I'll build my own. Yeah, I, I'm, I think mechanically I'm a problem solver. And um, young age, I was always really interested in how things worked and right. mechanically. And um, I was in the garage fixing things. And I'm like, what, what better project than building your own leg? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, You're certainly I was, motivated. I was yeah. very, very motivated. <laughs> Here's the amazing thing: you built, you built, uh, you built the leg in one week. And what fascinated me is I love, uh, I like bicycling and I like mountain biking. You know, taking a, a bicycle up into the mountains, and and you use mountain bike parts. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, you know, I, I drew on the design for about a month. And then uh, once I had everything just right, went to the shop and started cutting metal. And a week later, I had the first prototype. And uh, I knew I wanted to, to utilize this mountain bike shop. It's a, it's a Fox Float or DH, DHX Air shock. Um, uses compressed air as, as a spring rate, so which is really light and adjustable. And for all the different activities, you can really fine tune it. And uh, you know, I kind of thought at it not so much as, as a knee, but as a suspension component for, for my leg. Unbelievable. And we uh, have one. We have one right here. Do you want to show us how it works? Now, what's interesting is I picked this up and it feels heavy to me, but it's actually lighter than the corresponding part of you of, of, of the human leg. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's about half the weight of the leg that they took off. Right. Um, it definitely feels a lot heavier because it's 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 hanging off of you, but right. uh, it uh, yeah, the lighter the better for sure. Um, we've got a shock right here. Uh, in the knee. Which... Yeah, those are the same, that's the, the same shocks that I use on my bike and you can, uh, what is amazing is you can adjust, you can adjust the, if you're going downhill or going uphill, yeah. you can adjust how much suspension there is. Yeah, we got compression, rebound, we got a lockout here, uh, air pressure adjustment, and then also the foot has, the VersaFoot also has one too. Um, yeah, and it, uh, this, this is used for sport and not, not the best for walking, and you know, I've got some other options for walking, but man, when you really want to get after it and, uh, and hit some big jumps, this is the ticket. Yeah. And, <laughs> and when we, did this become an infomercial? <laughs> yeah. yeah.